two Bay Area cities making a big push to build more housing. We begin with Brisbane, which has taken some heat for not pulling its weight to help the housing crisis. But now the city has unveiled plans to build 2,200 new homes, along with 6 million square feet of commercial space on the Brisbane Balin site. The developer's original plan was to build double the amount of homes on the 700 acres of land. But at last night's Brisbane Council meeting, the city agreed to analyze the impact of 2,200 new homes near Highway 101 over the next month or so. We want to try to plan responsibly with this site. We understand housing is, a, is an issue. Um, we do have some concerns about safety and traffic and all the things that go along with development, but we feel we can work through those things. Now, at this point, it is unclear when the project could get final approval. In the meantime, the mayor of Palo Alto is making it her mission to build more housing, especially affordable housing. Mayor Liz Niss is saying that she is ready to get started on two big affordable housing projects that she hopes to be completed by the end of the year. It is all part of a plan adopted by Palo Alto in November, requiring it to create at least 230 new housing units each year. We haven't reached that number. So I, I have that concern. There have been cities that have been fine as a result of not reaching the arena numbers. We passed our comprehensive plan at the end of last year, committing to housing for the next 15 to 20 years. According to numbers from the city manager, between 2014 and 2017, Palo Alto only created 98 new housing units per year. New at six, one area of Fremont has certainly taken a real estate roller coaster ride as of late. KPIX 5 reporter Devin Feely takes us to one street in the Glenmore neighborhood to show us what has changed over the years. This is what million dollar homes look like today in Fremont. We decided to take a closer look at the Bay Area's red hot housing market by analyzing home prices on a single block along Logan Drive. Just two years ago, this home sold for nearly $1.1 million. But just imagine the deal you would have got if you bought it the last time it was on the market in 1976, when it sold for $67,000. Fremont, Union City, Network, it's hard to get the houses in here. Gutsia Ralph bought her home on the corner in the fall of 2014 for $840,000, at a time when you could still find a home in the neighborhood for under a million. But housing prices were already heating up and heading higher. Just two years earlier, the house across the street sold for 660000 nearly 200000 less. It's a crazy market. We've never seen anything like this. We're scrambling to keep up. We're scrambling to find uh, as many people uh, to list as possible. Carl Medford says the real estate market is typically cyclical. Housing prices shoot up, but eventually fall back down to earth. Consider this home. It sold in 2008 for 670000 and for the next several years, housing prices were flat before skyrocketing yet again. We don't know if this is going to last three more months, three more years, uh, but when it does shift, it will shift. It'll happen overnight, and then it will be done. Realtors say this has been a fairly stable neighborhood. There just hasn't been a tremendous amount of turnover. And they say that there is a strong incentive for homeowners who bought when the market was low to remain in their homes because if they were to sell and move someplace else, they would pay significantly more in taxes. In Fremont, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.